All right, today we're talking about applying compositions of transformations. Uh, glide reflection. A glide reflection. Glide is another word for a translation. Okay, and then reflection is obviously a reflection. So, we started with the original segment PQ. We're translating it or gliding to our new image. And then we're reflecting through line K. All right, composition of transformations. Multiple, two or more transformations together. Okay, so in this case, a glide reflection, we are first translating it or gliding it, and then we are reflecting through line K. All right, two, two or more transformations. All right, the vertices of triangle ABC are 3, 2, 6, 3, and 7, 1. Find the image of triangle ABC after the glide reflection. All right, so we have the original triangle, 3, 2, there's point A, point B is 6, 3, and C is 7, 1. Alright, so there's our triangle. The original triangle. Now, we are going to translate it by the transformation x minus 12, y. Alright, so A prime is x minus 12. Okay, so 3 minus 12, that's negative 9. And then B stays the same, so 2. Alright, B prime x minus 12, so 6 minus 12 is negative 6, and then b stays the same, so 3, and then c prime. Again, translation is x minus 12, so 7 minus 12, that's negative 5, and then y stays the same, 1. So our translation, negative 9, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, negative 9, 2, there's a prime, b prime is negative 6, 3, there's B prime, and then negative 5, 1, 2, 4, 5, 1, and there's C prime. So there is our translated triangle, okay, and now we want to reflect it through the x-axis, and again, here's the x-axis, so we want to reflect it through there. So one point away from the x-axis, so it should be one point away from the x-axis. So there is C double prime. B is 3 away. So B double prime should be on this vertical line, 3 away. There's B double prime. A is 2 away from the x-axis, so A double prime, excuse me, A prime is 2 away. A double prime should be 2 away as well. And there is the reflection through the x-axis. So the glide and then reflection. When two or more transformations are combined to form a single transformation, the result is a composition, like we've talked already. The glide reflection is one example. Um, isometries. All right, we've talked about translations being an isometry, reflections being isometry, rotations being an isometry. The figures are congruent. Same thing. Your composition of two or more is, um, isometries, it's still an isometry. The figures are still congruent. You look at this triangle here, it's kind of going to this triangle. If we look at the side lengths, they would be the same. Look at the side lengths here, they would still be the same. Okay? All right. Thank you very much.